Hey, and welcome to Arizona Insider. My name is Chip and welcome to the channel. On this channel, you're gonna find videos dedicated to showing you everything you need to know about Arizona. From things to do, places to go, and then what it's like living right here in the Grand Canyon State. Have you ever wondered what all the hype is about Central Phoenix? Well, in this video, Greg and I are gonna give you an idea why so many people desire to live in this part of Phoenix Metro. You know, you got accessibility to Scottsdale, your accessibility to Glendale, you're about 10 minutes from the airport, and then you have walkability to the local nightlife, local restaurants, and then the neighborhoods, you guys. It is not your typical Arizona neighborhood. You have homes that started to be built back in the 1920s and 1930s, and then the pride of ownership in this neighborhood will wow you. So I'm excited to show you what it's like right here in North Central Phoenix, so stay tuned. Chip, it's a, uh, a beautiful Saturday morning here in Phoenix. Uh, I think the weather's like in the high 40s, low 50s right now. We're wearing long sleeves. First time. Yeah, it's awesome. We love it. And uh, so when we're talking about North Central, uh, we're starting here at Uptown Plaza, right here at Camelback and Central. But what are we close to? What's around here? Like, what do people yeah. want to know? Well, something I want to start with too is Central Ave that's right here. It's really essentially like the first street in Phoenix about a hundred years ago. Yeah. Central Ave was our, our true center point. But proximity wise, you got the light rail, which just finished yeah, about 10 years ago, which has a hub literally right here at Camelback and Central. Um, and then the proximity to all the retail right in here. Yeah. The airport's maybe 10 minutes away. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, Scottsdale's maybe a 15 minute drive east. And then Glendale's maybe a 15, 20 minute drive west. All right, so as we're walking through here, one of the uh, one of the really cool things I think I love about the area, I'm sure you do as well, is you've got a really good combination of local hotspots, local restaurants that have uh, have done really well here, and a few chains that are popular from all over as well. Yeah. Uh, we just passed Shake Shack over here. We've got Lou Malinati, so from a from a chain perspective, those have been popular. But from a perspective of locals. You know, we've got Joyride Taco, we've got Federal Pizza, we've got Postino's, uh, Postino, Windsor, St. Francis is over on the other side here, Flower Chop, so it's loaded. All right, guys, we are here in uh, Windsor Square uh, in North Central Phoenix. Um, you know, one of the things that that I noticed the most is how how much character there is in this neighborhood because how far back the homes were started to be built, like in the 20s and 30s. What do you, what do you think, Greg? Yeah, it's, I mean, there's there's obviously been a lot of money that's come in here, the people that have come in and taken some of these older homes and turned them into just amazing properties while still keeping the charm and the character yes. of what they had before. That's that's one of the, the reasons why not only we, but most people love these neighborhoods. Yeah. And um, it's just, they just have like an East Coast, Midwest feel that you don't typically see in Phoenix. Yes. And even when you drive through here and you see some of the homes that haven't been touched per se, they still look great. I mean, the character, a lot of red brick, a lot of classic, almost like colonial style homes. And, the, uh, and there's just a, a huge pride of ownership here. Like people take care of their properties. Not everybody has a ton of money, but like even the people that have homes that are a little bit older, you know, they take pretty good care of them. But each house is, so unique and when you drive through here it doesn't feel like a typical arizona neighborhood by any means yeah i think if you were if you were visiting or thinking about moving to arizona like if you were to envision an arizona neighborhood i don't think this is what you would envision the cookie cutter yeah uh homes that you see that and don't get me wrong there there are there's a lot of really nice neighborhoods that you could consider cookie cutter with the stucco uh stucco finishes and that type of thing trust me I, there there are a lot of nice homes yeah. like that but they're this is a different level completely different all right so we are now at the uptown farmers market we're at uh central and bethany home road it this is probably the first big farmers market that the metro phoenix area has had it's probably the longest running it's definitely the largest yeah um 
a lot of a lot of things going on every Saturday and I believe every Wednesday this thing runs and it's huge like tell, tell us how big this is Chip yeah I mean I think this is the epitome of Arizona supporting local business I mean there's probably a hundred different vendors here family-owned businesses selling whatever it is they're selling and to come here. a lot of cool stuff a lot of cool stuff from when I mean, you got fresh pizzas right here you got you got plants you got coffee I mean you There's a lot of good food produce. out there. Fresh produce, you got everything We you took a little here. tour and I, I kind of want to go order one of everything, but yeah, uh, yeah it's, it's, a, it's a cool spot. It brings a lot of people out. I mean, it's, it's absolutely a perfect day to be out here. And it's right in your backyard. For anybody who lives here, right in your backyard. It's, it's probably one of the most popular things you can do when you live in the neighborhood. Absolutely. All right, so we are now entering into Park Madison neighborhood and uh, we could take you on a tour through a million neighborhoods here in North Central. They're all amazing. So we're just gonna pick out a couple and kind of give you an idea. This Park uh, Madison neighborhood is really, really cool. Um, it, very, it has such a unique feel to it. It's a little bit more upscale. Uh, I'm sure the price points are a little higher here, but you'll see why in the clip. And as we're driving through here, Chip, like what are the some of the first things you notice? The mature landscaping you, you just absolutely can't miss. I mean, if you think about it, when these homes in this neighborhood was originally developed, dating back 70 years, almost 80 years. So a lot of mature landscaping, large irrigated lots. And something you don't see in a lot of the other neighborhoods in Phoenix Metro are, you get really big front yards here. People yeah. just hang out in their front yards. Um, and then, um, the homes in Park Madison are a little bit bigger too. Just naturally a little bit bigger home and a bigger lot in here, but yeah. But all of them are character. super unique. Yeah, yeah. A lot of charm, character, super unique, and you know, it's every home you drive past is gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, and again, similar to what we were uh, dealing with at Windsor Square, just on a little bit higher level, um, but a lot of pride and ownership. Yep. And uh, you can just tell like people love the neighborhood here. All right, so we are on the Murphy Bridal Path right now. There, we're, we're on Central, so it's a little bit traffic-y, so we'll talk up when we've got cars going by. But uh, Chip, uh, talk about the history first of this place. Yeah, so the Bridal Path uh, founded or first laid its tracks here uh, in 1895. So the Bridal Path was actually here before Central Avenue was here. Yeah, I didn't uh, know that. Yeah, it runs from Bethany Home to Dunlap, which is about a three mile stretch. And you'll see all the people out here enjoying the bridal path, walking, enjoying the great weather and some beautiful homes right here next to the bridal path. There, as well. There's a lot of people out and about right now. It's uh, it's a good time and the, the weather's perfect. And uh, for anybody that lives right here, it's definitely a great spot to come down. And you're actually, you can take you can take the path all the way down to the farmer's market where we were before yep. and just enjoy yourself. Take the dogs out, take your bike out, uh, how, you know, however you want to enjoy it. Yeah. So one thing that, Greg, that I'm sure you notice as well, but the the vibe and the feel that you get here in North Central Phoenix is, is very similar to that of the Arcadia area. Would you agree? Yeah, a hundred percent. It's And both of them are very similar as far as the mature landscaping, the larger lots. Um, I don't know if, if this area used to have the citrus groves like Arcadia does, but you still have that same kind of style and characteristic, a lot of uniqueness and, and people very walkable. Yes. Um, so yeah, and in, in you get that with this, really with this entire area here. And I'd say especially between 7th Ave and 7th Street, but. Uh, and it feels like it's, you know, it's about 90% single story ranch style homes. Yep. There's a couple two stories here and there, but for the most part, it's almost all single story homes here in North Central. Similar to like Medlock, it, it doesn't have a feel of what you would typically find in the Phoenix metro area. It has a Midwest feel, uh, very green, and uh, again, just super unique. And it, it, there's, a, there's a, a lot of reasons why it's so highly sought after. All right, so as we're driving down Central, I think it's, it's super important to note because this is the main thoroughfare number one. It is what drives everything about this area. It's my favorite drive. Yeah. I know it's one of yours. Like, talk to us about what you think about this drive going down Central Avenue. I mean, this drive down Central, it's, I mean, it's historic, in my opinion. Um, Danny and I live just north of here. Uh, and 
my wife Danny works off of Central and Indian School, so the southern part of the road we're on, but she loves her drive to work because she hops on Central and drives through the mature, mature trees that you see that kind of overlap Central. Um, and it, it really feels like you're driving through like a, a piece of Phoenix Metro history when you drive down Central. It's one of the most beautiful drives that you'll find within Arizona. And I feel like if you're coming here to visit, to investigate, you know, your, your, where you want to live when you come out here, you have to make this drive. All right, so we've spent so much time kind of focusing on the area around Central, especially Central and Camelback with uh, Uptown, that type of thing. But when we're talking about North Central as a whole, we can't forget some of the awesome areas that kind of go out towards you know, 7th Street, 16th Street. So let's talk about a few of those because um, I know I can think of a few places, and maybe we'll take you to a spot, but I mean, we go all the way to over the 16th Street. We've got one of our favorite restaurants, Rokery and Richardson's. Yep. Um, Lucy's Marketplace right Lucy's there. Lucy's is right over there. Even going into like 7th Ave, you've got a lot of cool, there's like the uh, kind of that uh, shopping area. And now I'm gonna forget what it's called. It's not, is it Melrose? The Melrose District. Yeah, yeah Melrose. That's right. Yeah. Good job, Chip. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but yeah, so there's like so many cool little spots that uh, restaurants, uh, neighborhoods. So, you know, we're, we're gonna try to highlight a couple other little spots for you, but I just wanted to bring that up. All right, so we had to swing by the yard here because this is, I think, another staple of the area. This is just south of Bethany Home on 7th Street. And this used to be an old, old motorcycle yard that was turned into this amazing place where people could come together, play games, sit on couches with fires, uh, have an awesome uh, meal, yeah. have some drinks, and just have a good time. It's kind of a combination of a couple restaurants and just an area that everybody kind of surrounds themselves. Uh, have you spent some time here at the yard a little bit? I've spent a lot of time at the yard, and I, I think it's really one of the first major like indoor outdoor concepts that yeah. that landed here in Phoenix. Um, and it's a it's a huge space. Like yeah. Greg was saying, you got like probably five spots for cornhole. There's ping pong and about 80% of the restaurant is indoor outdoor space. Yeah. And I feel like it kind of started that trend of of those types of restaurants opening up, the yeah. big indoor outdoor concept. And it's been very successful. They opened up uh, another one, a second one in Tempe. They opened up a third one in Gilbert. This drove so many more restaurants that come yeah. in here. There's all sorts of cool spots right around here. You really have your choice of so many good locations. All right, Chip, so uh, just a little snapshot for everybody, a little tour to give you a taste of what North Central is like. I know we could get to everything. There was a lot to show. Um, there's so much to see here. And if you're looking for not only more info on North Central, but Phoenix Metro in general, uh, make sure to check out our other videos that we've got going on. We've got links to them. Um, anything that you wanna share? Is there anything that you would look at if you're already looking at North Central? I mean, I think we covered it pretty well, Greg. Um, so I hope you hope you enjoyed the video. And like you said, if you wanna get more of a feel about Phoenix Metro, Greg and I love making these videos for you guys. Yeah. So please check them out. We've let got a ton. The, yeah, we got a ton. Let us know in the comments what you think about them, or if there's somewhere that you've heard that is a popular destination in Phoenix that we haven't covered, also let us know, because we'd love to go make that video for you. Absolutely, absolutely. So thank